Okay, spot number, I'm not sure on the morning. We've been running around a little bit. I haven't found anything too crazy. Oh, what a cluster, what a cluster. Well, there's our four pounder we were talking about. <laughs> nice job. Sir. So go figure, my GoPro just died. And uh, as you can see, it's trying to switch out batteries. He was holding both rods and uh, Got a nice four younder. What's in his face? Three quarter ounce tube? Dude, choked too. Choked. Yeah. Nice. And looks like 3.99. Ooh, nice job. Good first one. That. No, can I get mad? First somewhat big in, in the boat, in the new boat. So normally you need a little bit. Uh, time to let the sun get up and warm up that water before those fish like to fire. Taken. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's not giant, but get the net. This side, this side, this side. That was the weirdest thing. I was just about to reel up. That's a good one. Look at that big old shad that he just spit up. Yeah. Long. Holy uh, yeah, I just saw how long it was. Oh. Dirt mouth. Derpy mouth. Dark sleeper gone. <laughs> it's a three and a half. All right, three, three, seven there. Nice fish. Real long, but just not very, nice not very tick at all. Yeah, he's a little derper. Let's see you, bud. I thought it was just a little. There we go. Yep. I don't know. It doesn't feel that big. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a nice one. He's right here. Nice. Another weird eat, dude. Like, as I was reeling it up, they're not eating it like they normally do. That is a compact little sucker. 363 on this dude. Biggin, biggin. Oh, jeez. That's a good one. He bungled that. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> he had it kind of funky in the corner. That's why he felt really extra large. But <laughs> that is a good one. It's a really dense fish. I would hope that guy goes for. 372? Really? That's kind of sad. It's a, it's a healthy one. He'll be a tank in a couple of years. Yeah. He's got the the build and the makeup to be a great big one. Jeez. All right, guys, so we're switching it up here. The dark sleeper has been working, but I'm gonna see if this little Ned Fry that Six Sense makes um, will catch any fish out here. I think I'm gonna cut it down like, would you go right there? About an inch or so? Yeah, probably. It's a 4.6 inch bait, and I just want a little bit smaller profile to put on a Ned rig. I'm gonna cut that in half. That's a little two-tone color that I really like a lot. It's electric shiner. Not a bad bait at all. The cool thing about this bait too is that it's completely buoyant. So once it sits on the bottom, it's gonna sit either up or like on an angle, but that bait's gonna be floating up. So that tail will be sitting more in the air than your typical uh, Ned rig for the most part. So the deal out there more is like, it's way more like normal bottom. So then the rock piles are tight. So then you turn around and cast at specific ones. Right. That's how we caught the 24 pounds. Like it was a sh actually a big shell bar and then like there were rock piles on it. It was really cool. So we can go try like that depth range too, if we want. Mm -hmm. But like, it's gotta be really, really high percentage stuff, like really big clumped up rock. Holy cow, you better take it easy. Come on, big. Actually, I have no idea. I'm just used to uh, casting rods. Oh my gosh, it's enormous. It looks like the big head shake. Dude, it's giant. What side do you want me on? That's a really nice one. Oh, that's a very large one. All right, nice and easy. Oh my gosh. Get him, right there, get him. Let's go! That might be your new PB. No. You don't think? On the Ned Fry, it popped Dude, off on the net. Oh that's my. six, easily. Oh! <gasps> That's not a PB. You don't think? He's not thick enough. Oh, look at him. Ah! 
Dude. Dude, wham before he poops it all out. All right, five, eight, six on this girl. That is a large one. Wow. And then one like that. All right, you guys. So this big old 586, we're getting her revived, make sure she's all good. We grabbed some pictures with her. Came off this guy right here, the Six Sense Ned Fry, and look at what she did to this hook. That is insane. Like, it literally popped out as Drake netted her. I don't know how, like that's a pretty heavy wire hook and uh, bent it right out with ease. So luckily we got her in the net. She's kicking right now, doing very well. Here's a look at the old 586, you beautiful, beautiful, healthy fish. That's my second biggest fish ever. So pretty awesome there. Definitely stoked on the old spinning gear. The first fish on that six cents net fry. Cut that dude down and put it on a net head and this is the result, so we're gonna get her back down and get some more, uh, hopefully similar to this size, and get a bag going. All right, we're just gonna do a little update here from the GoPro. I don't know how much I explained before um, turning on the camera and just fishing, but basically we slid off and no one's around us as you can tell everyone kind of just fishes like um right next to each other the same exact areas and you can catch fish doing that but most of the time it's like your typical two to four pounders like a four pounder is like a good one in those public areas but uh we slid way out here to an area that i actually caught them at last year i didn't have the dots so we just went side scanning through this area and so it's quite a bit deeper the water's a lot more clear as you can tell because it's actually a uh, shell bar shell bar is like very large and then within the shell bar there's different pockets of like rock spines so basically that's what we're targeting we're, and that's exactly how it happened i think the cast before i ended up catching him i missed one i i like stuck him for a second and the next cast is when i actually hooked him um, I'll have to go back and look at that, but I don't know if it's the same fish. Probably would be because I was literally casting at one single boulder. So I'm guessing it was probably him all by himself in that prime real estate, just munching on any bait that goes by. And uh, he couldn't resist this little Ned Fry. Is a good one? Well, how do you get this thing? There we go. Yeah, he's good. He's like a four. Nice. Dude, that might be five. That's a fiver. With the drone up. All right. I got to land this. Holy cow. With this well, that was a whole procedure right there, guys. <laughs> Here's a look at the Drake's 504. Yep. 504 brings us up to over 22 with tons of room to improve. Let me make sure this focus is good. All right, you're good. Beautiful. All right, we found boulders. Now we're hoping to catch some smallmouth boss. Oh, there's one. There we go. Really bad hook set. It does not feel large. Oh, <laughs> dinker. Wow, next cast on the next set of uh, boulders. You believe me about this whole tactic? <laughs> Come here, buddy. Got one? Nice. All right, we're gonna try to boat flip. Here's large. Okay, take it easy. Here. Okay, are you sure about that? I wanna take a video though. Oh, he's a little guy. Come here. Thank you, sir. All right, we should catch one here, I think. Look at all that. Biggin? Oh my gosh, that's a fish, isn't it? Oh, jump. Was it big? It didn't look huge. Yeah, it didn't look very big. Did you hear what I said like a second before you hooked it? What does it have to be to help? Three and a half? It's gonna be close. He might. Yeah, that is a hot spot right there. 
There we go. No. It doesn't feel giant. No, it's little. I got him. Wow, I love that fluoro squeal. Nice. Oh, for sure. Thank you. Dude, giant, 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 giant. <gasps> oh my gosh, I never saw it, but I know that fish was large. So this might be part of the reason why the fish have been a little bit more finicky today. That is a ball of big, uh, do you know what kind of shad they are? Gizzard shad. I kind of want to lose my sleeper because it's so old. Oh, then do it. There we go. Oh, dark. Ate it on the fall. He's not a giant, but he's really cool. That was awesome. He ate it on the fall. Oh, He'll yeah, help. he got bigger. He'll definitely help. That's sweet, dude. Nice job. Dark. Oh, he's really heavy. He's dense. 401. Calls out a 363. Hello, ducks. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the truck now. We just pulled off. It is 6.51. Wow, that was a long day. I didn't even realize that, but over 12 hours out on the water. We grinded today. It honestly wasn't easy. I thought it was gonna be pretty dumb coming into the day. Ended with 26 fish, maybe. Between 25 and 30 fish that we landed um, and ended up with just under 23 pounds. But that was with a 360 and a 370, I believe. So we had two pretty much dinks in there for like a bag of that caliber. So yeah, it was a good day. Unfortunately, we had many chances to make our good bag really great. And uh, we just dumped a lot of fish. I have no idea what the problem reel was. Reel up, reel up, reel up. Oh, that was giant. Normally every time I'm out there, they're choking that dark sleep or a tube or whatever I'm throwing, but that was not the case today. They just were getting it in the corner of their mouth and popping off, and we had all kinds of issues dumping fish. I don't know if it's pressure getting to them or water clarity was a little bit dirty. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't easy out there today, um, but I can't be mad with a 586 and a 20, almost 23 pound bag. So um, we're on our way up north now. We're gonna go fish Saturday and Sunday at two different lakes up here. Um, tomorrow we're going for largemouth and Sunday we're going for a big bag of smallmouth again up in northern Michigan. So stay on the lookout for those videos, but otherwise thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next episode. See ya.